Real quick before the tutorial begins, not all OBJ files work with the printer. The OBJ files require collisions to be printed in-game. This is why you should go to the disk or define models. I'm currently working on a tutorial on how to add collisions to OBJ files. That way you can put whatever model you want in the game. So subscribe if you want to see that, and back to the tutorial. To use the industrial printer and Voices of the Void, you will need to join this Discord server, Eternity Dev Games. You will also need WinRAR or 7-Zip to unpack zipped files. Once you're in the Discord, go down to Post Your 3D Printer Models, and find one you like. I'm going to use this one because I know it works. Once downloaded, we will extract the files. Now we need to go to the local app data of Voices of the Void. To do that, you must press the Windows and R key. Then type percent local app data percent. Then press enter. Now we need to find Voices of the Void. Next we have to select Assets, then Meshes, and finally Printer. Now all we have to do is copy our files over. Note. The OBJ and PNG files must share the same name, or this will not work. And that's everything. Now I will show you what this looks like in game. So I'm in game now. Here's the industrial printer. It doesn't have a texture. Here's the file I downloaded. You can change the material type here. I'm going to be using metal because I'm printing a gun. The larger the model, the longer it'll take to print. This one's pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long. Some models I've printed have taken two or three in-game days. And there you go. I'm working on texturing that Desert Eagle too. When I'm done with it, I'll be uploading it to the Discord. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you. If you want to know how to add collisions to OBJs so you can put whatever model you want into the game, subscribe. I'll be uploading that tutorial shortly.